It's the Daily 304's presentation of famous people, places, and events that shaped West Virginia. Welcome to the History Project. Today we take a look at the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. In the 1850s, Virginia had asylums in Williamsburg and Stanton, when it sanctioned the third to be built in Weston. Its indecorous name, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum, reflects a period when mental illness was viewed with fear. Asylums were only intended to separate the mentally ill from the so-called polite society. Noted architect Richard S. Andrews designed the hospital using the Kirkbride model, a popular concept that employs a batwing-style floor plan springing from the building's center. Construction began in 1858, but was halted by the Civil War three years later. Surprisingly, the asylum enabled West Virginia statehood. When Virginia seceded from the Union, it demanded the hospital funds be returned to Richmond, but Union forces seized the money for the treasury of the restored government of Virginia, the cocoon for forming West Virginia. After the war, the asylum became the West Virginia Hospital for the Insane. Unfortunately, the facility was a product of its time, using ghastly practices like electroshock, lobotomies, and hydrotherapy. Conditions became nightmarish over the next century, until the hospital closed in 1994 when a new facility opened. Since then, many plans have been proposed for the building, such as a golf resort, but the structure could not escape its sinister history. In 2023, native West Virginia author Jane Ann Phillips used the asylum as the setting for her Civil War era novel, Night Watch, which won the Pulitzer Prize for Best Fiction. Today, the Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum is a national landmark. It is not only America's last remaining unchanged Kirkbride structure, but is second only to the Kremlin as the largest hand-cut stone building in the world. Its haunting visage looms over Weston, and locals give tours of the facility that funded West Virginia's future, but continues to haunt its past.